see so yeah, how this is a collective reading. It's not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So it may resonate, it may not. We're just going to get some more information for this week for whoever's watching. Let's go ahead and do the direction spread. My direction spread is available on my website. I'll post a link below. For anybody who just feels like they just need a little bit of direction right now or confirmation. And we begin. This is for anybody who feels stuck Anybody who feels stuck in a certain situation, a difficult situation, and knows that there is a way forward to a more peaceful existence, a more peaceful state of being, but for some reason or another feels stuck or unable to move towards that uh, more peaceful um, future. Where are you really? The King of Swords. So you know. You actually, you're, you, what you're, you do know, but what's happening is you're, you're dealing with your own truth right now of what is keeping you stuck. Um, knowing is, I guess, not enough because that's in the mind. How do you bring that into your heart, which is connected to the hands, right? Which allow us to do things differently if we do things through the heart. And that's also action oriented, right? Hmm. So if you're, if you're stuck in your head, you don't know what to do, like I was saying a minute ago, get into your body, get into your heart, and follow the passion and see where that leads you. Usually not a bad way to go, although Mercury is still in retrograde and will be until next Monday, the 15th, and then there's a shadow period. So it may still feel like in the month of May, things are not necessarily hitting the gear the chain's not caught on the gear so it's not you know the greatest challenge you now face two of cups authenticity partnership being in partnership this is about filling your own cup because you give your cup to other people and they give theirs to you if there is poison in your cup or this other person's cup, maybe it's not time for a union. It's not time necessarily to come together. So I could see that if there is a partnership on this table for you, it's like the challenge is showing up with what you have. And I think that's really motivating you to, at least with your mind, work around this issue of, what feels like peace in my life versus what doesn't. So um, that's making a lot of sense. It's like we want to move on, but we also want to be in partnership. So this feels very much like establishing new boundaries. This feels very much like speaking your truth and seeing where that can lead you. What's working? The two of wands. Um, so... There's definitely been some planning going on. Um, I think it's a. It's definitely not only has been there been planning, but I think that there's been a little bit of action. There's been some movement towards this. Um, well, let's see. Let's see where you're actually going because there is this card for that. We have the King of Pentacles. I'm gonna pull the rest of the cards here and then we'll talk. Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Chariot. And final advice, King of Cups in reverse. So it's like our minds are working. We have, we're, uh, this is definitely so for somebody who's an intellectual and maybe has more trouble with the heart space and expressing themselves emotionally. Um, I see that there's like a lot of good energy and effort around, um, wanting to move on, wanting to make plans for a future, wanting to um, be generous with oneself. Uh, 
However, <laughs> the energy is still kind of blocked here because there's it's saying like I'm not emotionally available. So that's that's why it's showing up as the challenge. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And the King of Cups. Um I don't know if I've said it on my channel, but definitely I've, I watch a lot of other YouTubers' channels. I highly recommend it because I've, there's a lot of different readers out there who are extremely talented. And <clears throat> if you want to learn how to learn cards, watching others is a great way to do it. Anyways, this is a piece of information f that I've gotten from the YouTube sphere. And a lot of readers are confirming it. And it, it's I think it's true. The King of Cups has been our guiding card for some time. It's asking us to be aware of our inner world, be aware of our emotions. The King is the master, right? He's mastered his emotions. He's aware of himself, just like the King of Swords is aware of his thoughts. So, it's like there's wanting to be some harmony here it's like you want something for yourself more peace more clarity but your heart is not exactly on board your body's exa not exactly on board with that reality that you want to create for yourself so that's why i see here we're not exactly having all of the resources yet although that's not going to be true forever What's truly happening here for this person, and if this resonates for you, is there is like a graduation of the soul. The chariot card is here. Astrologically speaking, this represents cancer. Right now we have Venus in cancer, um, which is this transit that is very much so about the balance between our sensitivity and our intuitiveness, like our emotionality and wanting to lead with that sort of like beautiful, like happy, <laughs> uh, not always happy, but like this vulnerability and things being kind of sweet. Um, but at the same time, having very um, clear boundaries. I think that's the trans, that's the part that we're working on here. The sweetness, I think, is here it wants to come through in fact it's it's just always there if it's not there that's where I would come back to the king of cups and say well are you aware of yourself are you aware of what how you're what energy you're bringing to the table and then how is that um, ultimately impacting what is available to you in your life right Anyway, the chariot is the card of the year. I highly recommend, if you haven't yet, go read more about specifically this card because it can go pretty deep. But as a collective reading, this is a thematic um, archetype for the year, for everyone, for all of us. Because if you reduce 2023 down to its number parts, 2 plus 2 plus 3, you get 7. Chariot is number 7. Chariot is about coming things coming into union as well things sort of starting to work um despite there being some challenges so whenever the chariot card comes up i do think of like a personal revolution or a personal triumph victory and it is coming from this place of this king of cups this two of cups, this four of cups. We are coming back around to ourselves through the gateway of our heart. I think that's going to be really important um, considering all of the big paradigm shifts that are also occurring this year. Um, Pluto switching signs into Aquarius. Wata. Well, the water bear, but it technically it's an air sign, so <laughs> hold on. It's an air sign. Um, but it's moving out of Capricorn into Aquarius. Just like how this week we start in Capricorn and move to Aquarius, and then we have the Pisces moon weekend. Um, 
yeah, I think we're ready to start untangling where in our bodies, where in our emotions we feel certain things and like tendons follow that to its origin. That leads to the chariot, your personal triumph, your willingness to go there, your willingness to um, challenge yourself to see the difficult things. I think it's because you're done, you're done sitting back in these choppy waters and ready to move something towards something more peaceful. Uh, three kings on the table out of nine cards. That's really good. That's, that's a lot of power here. We're wielding a lot of power that we've been accumulating over some time. Sometimes we forget to give all parts of ourselves this, um, this attention. And all parts, I mean mental, spiritual, physical, emotional, right? The four elements, the four, um, oh yeah, I guess I'll just call them elements of energy management, your personal energy management dips into those four things. So we have the pentacles, which is the physical, our desire to be physically generous with ourselves and others, um, abundance mindset, Generous assumptions. King of Swords, our mental capacity to um, not control our thoughts, but to understand that we are not our thoughts and having a mastery over how we think and when um, in our intuition. King of Cups, mastery of emotions. There may be a storm happening all around you. Uh, chaos. The world is definitely a very chaotic place to be. And the mastery of the cups allows you to remain slightly detached. Just like we were getting in our energy reading. There's a detached emotionality around things while we're... Um, this is a good thing. This is a good thing because we're. it's not that we're not invested. It's that we are and we're becoming a lot more aware of what kind of emotional emotional charge we're bringing into situations and carrying within ourselves as we go about our day-to-day -day lives. Remember that journal prompt question, how has your capacity to love yourself affected other areas of your life? Your relationships, your work, your you know, personal progress, your goals. I do see a lot here about personal progress, but I'm also seeing relationship to others, specifically partnerships. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Don't forget to check out the weekly energy videos that I post every week on my channel. Subscribe, like, do the thing. Um, help me keep this channel going. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.